The easiest way to get to Fethiye is to take a flight to Dalaman Airport, which hosts in many domestic flights as well as some international ones. Then the shuttle bus will take you to Fethiye city center for about $4-$5 only. Since I stayed in Fethiye in the coldest winter months, the weather was changing frequently. At the daytime, the temperature was 10-15 degrees, but the wind made it colder from the surrounding snow-capped mountains. At the night time, the temperature could drop down to zero. There is a high chance of rainy days, though many days were sunny too. Let's start from the gloomy part. Chalish is a resort district and beach in Fethiye that is considered one of the best ecological beaches in Turkey. It's a pebble beach with a mixture of sand and gravel, stretches over 4 kilometers, making it one of the longest beaches in the region. It's packed during the summer months, but I more enjoyed it empty during the winter. There are few markets a week happening in Fethiye in the different areas. Tuesday market is the largest and the most famous market in the city. Located near the bus station, it opens its doors every Tuesday from 9 a.m. to the sunset. Fish market is open daily and it's a perfect place to stock up on fresh seafood. Market offers a wide variety of fish, ranging from common favorites like tuna and salmon to more exotic options like swordfish and lobster. In addition to being a great place to buy seafood, visitors to the market can even have it cooked in one of the nearby restaurants for a small fee. Some 2,400 years ago, Fethiye was the prominent town of Telmesis, but earthquakes have left only a few leaky and stone sarcophagi from the old town. It became part of the Ottoman Empire in 1424 and was called Megri until 1934. Then it was renamed Fethiye in honor of Captain Fethiye Bey, one of the first pilots of the Ottoman Air Force, who died during an airplane crash while attempting to complete the first flight from Istanbul to Cairo. Besides the beauty of palm trees on the background of snowy mountains, there is a broad choice of different type of accommodation for the decent prices. I booked mine for $450, but electric included via Airbnb, not far from Challenge Beach and with beautiful garden with lemons, pomegranate and olives. There is a daily delivery of freshly baked sea meat, 
which is the Turkish season bread trains. In the morning, I often attended the yoga classes located in the beach shala, with the following breakfast and one of the beach restaurants. Every Sunday there is another market close to Chalish Beach. It's similar to Tuesday market but foodstuff on the end. It's locally grown and locally produced. Chalish Market has a more laid-back atmosphere than its Tuesday counterpart over in the center of town. Where the food is concerned, maybe it's that Sunday feeling, but people tend to browse more slowly. It's not only about the fresh fruits and vegetables, but also you can get all your dried fruits and nuts and winter chutney. As well as you can get the local honey, eggs, village butter, cheese, olives and delicious yogurt. Winter in Fiatia is a delightful paradox combining the sunny seafront with the chance to build a snowman in the surrounding mountains. Embracing the great outdoors is one of the most rewarding experiences in Fiatia, especially during winter. The region is adorned with numerous trails meandering through dense pine forests and rolling hills. On a sunny winter day, this path offer an escape from the bustling city centre, providing perfect conditions to enjoy a peaceful picnic on the sand. Fiatje has several ancient Greek tombs that back to the 4th century BC. The tombs were built by the Lycians, the people who lived in the ancient city of Telmesas, the satrapy of Persian Empire at the time. Keep coming back to Chalice Beach, which is famous for its amazing sunsets. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. I encourage you to subscribe, click like and hit notification bell button to get updated of the new releases. Parsel parsel eyler,